you guys, Stacy here with Life's a Project. So today we are at my mother and father-in-law's and you can see here their mailbox has seen better days. In fact, it's pretty horrendous um, and I can say that because they know I love them and they know that it's true. You can see here that the paint is chipping and it's all rusted so that needs to be changed out and the post needs a quick sanding and a stain. And on the bottom here with this cement showing where they placed the post, um, that needs to be covered up. So yeah, the plan is to change out this mailbox give this post a quick sanding and a stain and do a little surround with some rock and some edging stone so yeah James is gonna start uh, sanding and we're gonna get this project started So James is all done with the sanding it looks so much better just like that um, just having that quick um, sanding job, but that will allow the um, stain to penetrate the wood a lot better and have a better finish in the end. So the stain we're using is the Thompson's Water Seal Penetrating Timber Oil. It is the Walnut Semi-Transparent Stain, and this is the same stain we used on our mailbox makeover project. We just love the color. We're going to apply it with a brush. So I'm finished staining the post and it looks so good. I love that dark, rich walnut color. Um, that color brown is just so pretty. And so now it is time to take a closer look at the mailbox. So this is the Cambridge um, black mailbox. It's just a simple design. I think the little handle gives it more character. We picked this up at Lowe's. I think it was around uh, 29 something. So that $30 price point. So we also decided to pick up some metal house numbers. These are four inches tall and they were around $4 a piece. So we had to get four of those. They come with their own little screws. So here's a closer look at the edging stone that we chose. It's probably hard to see in this light, but it does have a more orangey terracotta color to it. And we also picked up a couple bags of this marble rock. So I went ahead and laid out my landscaping fabric, also known as a weed barrier, and we cut it into a circle shape. And I had to use a pair of scissors because this stuff is super tough. You cannot rip it with your hands. And so we are going to secure it down with some landscaping staples and lay down our edging stones in that circle shape. I also wanted to mention that I did cut this fabric larger than it needs to be because I just didn't want to run out of fabric and we can just trim up the edges. The edging stones are now all laid down into place and we secured the fabric with some metal staples using a rubber mallet. So next all we have left to do is fill in the center with the bagged marble rock. So guys, check this out. We are all done. It looks so much better. You can see the before and now the after. Oh my gosh. And the stone down here, here's a closer look. You can see that color a little better. It's more of that orangey red um, terracotta look. And I thought Sharon would love it so much more because um, she actually loves the color orange. Her front door is orange. So um, here you can see, I mean, the mailbox, the post, just, just a little bit of work over a three hour stretch I mean you can totally see that it has paid off we added a decorative hook and you can see the rock again down here she'll be able to dress this area up um, here's from a side view you can see the house numbers those metal house numbers James applied those and they look so much better than adding on like the stickers and you can see this area back here she could decorate it up if she wants to so I do want to quickly mention that down here at the edging stone, that was $2.38 a stone, and we did use two bags of the bag marble rock, and those were around $4 a piece. So guys, that is it for this project. James and I are so happy that we could do this for his parents, and we know that his parents are so thankful and grateful that we did this for them. So if you want to check out the mailbox makeover video that James and I did for our mailbox makeover, um, I will attach that in the description below. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <music>